I like to think of the podcast as just a smooth mess of, you know, whatever. It can be anything. There's no rules. It can be anything. Sometimes I do a cooking show. Other times I do a room tour and a bunch of videos. That's uh, my that's my big business idea, man. I want to be like I want to be like you, I kind of in a way, but except I, I I didn't focus on the same thing you did. You focused on, but that sounds really cool, man. Also, having people work for you sounds really like that's like the ultimate fucking dream to me. Like, cause then you can mentor them, right? Show them your style and whatever, if if it's even apl- applicable for modeling. Yeah, yeah, for I think, you I think so. So it's rewarding, but it's also like a responsibility, you know. To- make sure that everything gets done in time and properly mm. yeah of course uh are you guys um seeing each other in real life or are you like speaking did, are you just in a discord together we we are uh, we work remotely but uh, we have met each other twice uh, once in 2019 and once in was once this year actually two months ago oh lucky man yeah, we had to like um, meet up in both in Greece. Cold open for this episode. This is a proper intro because uh, the recording messed it twice. The fucking uh, I don't know what happened. The uh, Discord doesn't allow me to record my microphone while I'm also recording my microphone through my computer, but I've done it before. Anyways, um, as you could you know told from the title, this is a podcast with. Willem Morfic. Willem Morfic. That's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good. Very good. Yeah, that's, that's very close. How did you get into the KKK? The the Discord server that we have. What? The, the, my Discord server that you showed your link your link off in. Oh, cool. Yeah, the, cool, yeah, the KKK. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. That's, uh, oh, God. You showed it off. Huh? That did not sound right. No, I know. <laughs> and that's the um, intro of the podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I see. <laughs> Sorry. I see. So you asked me how I got into the KKK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You reached out over Twitter and uh, invited me. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Because you had a wild, wild experience. Like, this is kind of the ultimate dream, right? Isn't it? Isn't it kind of a wild thing? It's fucking wild, dude. All right. Um, I have a watch together, actually. Do you want to uh, watch it with me? So we can show, and I'll record that, so then um, people can watch it along with me. Are you cool with that? I'm just going to do it anyways. We're going to do it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, no, copyright strikes. Ooh, look at this, man. How fun is this, eh? Oh, shit, sorry. Dude, you have to get the rights for this, right? Oh yeah, yeah. The YouTube can handle that for us. We gave them. Well, they came up with their own list, and then we gave them our list as well, and we uh, worked with them to reach out to the creators and get their permission. And and they were just like, yeah, man, fun, go for it. Yeah, yeah. There was, it was really positive all around. So this is a huge project. I don't think I understand the scope of this. I'm hoping you can help me uh, talk me through it. Because this is, this is, for people who are not really liking this, this is on the YouTube, uh, official YouTube, YouTube channel, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure it's on the microphone. And it's well. uh, a celebration. It is. Hmm? Uh, can, you, can you talk me through it? Just tell, tell me about it. Yeah, so it's, it's a celebration basically for um, all Minecraft videos collectively reaching 1 trillion views on YouTube. And so Minecraft has always been a big part of the platform uh, and they wanted to celebrate that properly with, a, with an animated video. It's, it's amazing. Do you, know, do you know how they calculated, how they kept track of um, the videos made 
about Minecraft? I don't. No, I don't. Didn't ever tell us. We weren't really in touch with the people who kept track of that. We were more, more in touch with, with the um, team in charge of you know, marketing and uh, creating these kinds of videos. Spark Universe, right? Spark Universe, yes. Uh, I run the uh, animation department at Spark Universe, which is called Spark Animation. You, you run it I, and you're a director what do you do there sorry i'm i'm super i'm super dumb but I, i'm hoping you'll you'll allow my ignorance that's a, no, that's probably fine uh i appreciate the question uh basically i founded it and now i'm i manage the studio so i manage all the team members um all the ins and outs you own day a to day. business dude you're a businessman I, I have a uh, yeah i have a uh, i founded it with with the two other partners at spark universe um Florian and Raphael, um, but I also produce and direct videos. Yeah. And how how both, did YouTube... both business? Hmm? So you... how did YouTube reach out to us? Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were they were, <laughs> they were Minecraft. Mojang was probably involved, uh, they were... right? Or what were they? Sorry, go on. They were involved. Yeah. They were involved. Um, and they were doing already. Um, it was this was part of a bigger celebration and we were already working on the um um minecraft set of things we made the um youtube youtuber skin pack for for minecraft uh, marketplace um and we also made a we also made a map um which which is free on the marketplace it came out a few days ago i think um which which guides the player through the new update, so all the new features in 1.19. Oh, fun! Do you do you work on that yeah. with Mojang also? Oh yeah, you must. You're a micro partner. Well, that's wild, dude. Micro partnership. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're a micro partner. Uh, that was like we, what we initially were. So we were we started out as a Minecraft marketplace. Really? Uh, you company. started out as rookies, and then and then you you know became a Minecraft marketplace thingy. Then you grew from there. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it used wow. to be like a build team, then it grew into, it grew into like a Minecraft company all around. So like um, doing for for client work, you know, for service, but but also marketplace. And from there, we also started Spark Animation. Um, we also are in charge of Essential, the Essential mod. I don't know if you're familiar with it. I I'm not a big gamer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm not. Oh, no, it's, it's it's a Minecraft mod. It came out a few months ago. Um, oh no, but I'll, I'll but if it, you want to show it, me anything, it, put it in the watch together. Oh, it, um, I can, I can send you a Twitter link to, to the... Yeah, go for it, go for it. I'll, but yeah, I'll basically, I've been, I've been the lead artist at Spark Universe for a while. Modeling um, also? You also create shit or you just directed? Uh, no, no, I, I used to, I used to, I started out basically as a, as a 3D modeler slash texture artist. Um, oh, and uh, that's what I did for a while at Spark Universe. Then I became the lead artist at Spark Universe. So basically, getting more artists into the team, teaching them, um, giving them feedback, and that's what I still do. But I also run the the animation part. That's so impressive. I'm so sorry. I came so I came so unprepared. For some reason, I did some research, I, even though I said I was going to find out about you on the podcast, and I couldn't find all this. This is incredible. This is. Wow, dude, y'all are so <laughs> talented. Thank you. All right, I, I haven't found the mod, but I've also forgot the name. Can you say it again? Oh, Essentials, I found it. Uh, the what? Essentials mod. Should I check it out? Oh, I, I sent it to you in the end. Yeah, I got it. Oh, this is, the mod has its own Twitter. Oh, wait, hold up. This is the, this this entire thing is the Essentials mod. All right, sorry. Uh, this There's is, some very thing, thing is, yeah. I'm trailing off, sorry, carry on. Yeah, so I also I also set up the the style for the mod, so all the cosmetics um, and the interface uh, were designed by me initially. Of course, since then we've brought on more artists who have been working on it, and I've transitioned more into supervising them. That but must be fun, man! That's yeah, like so the ultimate, I, I, ultimate path, right? Yeah, I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Yeah, because it's cool because you start out as the person who is obviously, I don't know how you learn to do all this. We can get into that later. But you start out as the person, you know, who's trying to figure this shit out and maybe you look up to other people and then suddenly you can be this mentor figure. That's kind of the, uh, a nice 
metaphor if I use that word correctly. I don't know. I'm bad at English. I'm not good at English. But that would be a good metaphor for life, right? Because you go, you know, ideally you'd be young and then you learn a bunch of shit. Then you get old and then you teach a bunch of shit to someone, right? Oh, yeah, I'm really old. Are you really old? Oh, no. You're no, but I'm kidding. Okay. Exactly. I'm, I was about to say. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 22. <laughs> You're 22, dude? Um, now you make yeah. me jealous. I'm 24. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I started out, but I did start out a while ago. I started in, uh, what was it, 2013, 2014? That's when I started doing 3D modeling in Blender. Oh, yeah. And from yeah, there, I, I kind of got into my. Yeah, yeah. So I, I did um, initially what I did was uh, I wanted to make Minecraft animations, believe it or not. That's why I got into Blender what back in the old days, you know. I... Oh, uh, all the all the big um, Minecraft animators from that time. Name some, like Captain Sparkles was like big the, the big ones. The big ones, yeah, yeah. Captain Sparkles was big on um, Slime Cow and Blue Monkey. Oh yeah, of course. Were they had the, my favorites, you know. Yeah, they had the group that they did and then it died down, I'm pretty sure. The what? D dig build Sorry. live, right? You know dig build live? I do, yeah. Yeah, they did that. That was really cool. I think they came back recently. Dig build live. Did they come back? I think so. Um, how? how I saw did, some posts. Here. Do you remember when you just when you got into um, like three D modeling and that, the fact you wanted to do animation specifically? Because that's a when I saw those sort of videos, I, I was really into resource pack, right? That was my like, you know, cling to it. What made you cling to animation? What did you like about it? What was your? Oh, I, I just, I just always really liked um, making uh, like short films and videos, um, animation as a kid, you know, um, that really was attractive to me. Um, and uh, just seeing this, you know, in a game that I really liked to play, uh, to see people animating it was, uh, was just mind blowing to me. So I, I really wanted to get into it, uh, cool. and that's why I started learning Blender. Yeah, uh, but the modeling and texturing thing came later. Um, when I when, uh, at some point I wanted to start doing mods for Minecraft, and um, I wanted to make a mod where you could place all items as 3D models on the ground, much like you can cake or. Things like that, yeah. You mean um, instead of just placing the item model on the ground, you mean every item should have its own uh, model oh, yeah. as a floor item? I haven't seen this. Could yeah, you, yeah. Can you link and, this? I'm sorry, I'm asking you to link a lot of shit, but I'm ignorant as shit. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, By the way, you can swear so... on the show. <laughs> a... I try not to, but when I'm like... You know, good, good, the, uh... good on you. I hope you don't regret coming on my show. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 of course not. <laughs> no, that's all, that's all good. Oh, I've seen uh, this, man. Of course I've seen this. Yeah. So basically what happened, I, I Googled it. I wanted to see if anyone ha else has come up with this, you know, uh, placeable item, because it seems like such a, you know, idea that someone would have done already. Yeah, yeah imagine a full um, game like and that. So yeah, yeah, and I googled it, and there was a thing, and, and this guy, Ferdz, uh, Frederick, he, he was working on it, and uh, but the, the project, and it was like run by the community, so he was the one who developing it, but he got models from the community, and anybody could contribute. That's the best. Um, and it had like 20-ish awesome. models, um, but it was, it had been inactive for a few months when I found it. Uh, and so I reached out and, and wanted to see if he was still interested in, in working on it, and he was, and he said, let's just do it, the two of us, you know, uh, we don't need to, to outsource the modeling, if, if you want to do the models, you just send them to me and I'll implement them into the game. And we have been doing that since, uh, the mod really took off uh, when I joined, I see. we published it on the first board. As you can see, and we're about to hit 5 million downloads. You've hit I think it, it's been I'm up. looking at it, I'm looking at it. 5 million downloads. Oh, we did it? you hit it, congratulations. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That must have been recent, because I was just looking at it like a few days ago, I was talking to him, that we were about to hit uh, 5 million. We Wait. just released, released um, 1.16 as well. Yes, that's okay. How, no matter how impressive the YouTube thing is, Consider this YouTube. The YouTube video on the official YouTube channel has 
1.9. It's gonna hit six million views soon. And your Minecraft refers yeah. or mod, sorry, has has uh, about the same amount. Basically, it's wild. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess if you look at it like that, but but it, it has been around for a while. We published the, yeah, the new version with my models in 2015, so it's been up for six years. But it, it does get a, like a very consistent amount of downloads per day. So yeah, it's it's, it's nice. I'm yeah, I'm very proud adds of it. Adds up. Adds up. Uh, Imagine just the YouTube video yeah. in uh, in a bunch of years. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Um, yeah, so from there, uh, he recommended me that I reach out to servers and see if they need, you know, modeling services. Uh, because that's when 1.8 came out, and that was the first time that Research, research Packs supported models on top of textures, you know. Mm. Previously, you could just change the textures of existing uh, models. I remember that, it was huge. Uh, People were making spheres, and then yeah, yeah, it was restricted it. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, um, a big community of modelers, oh, a big, uh, there was 13 of us in a Skype group <laughs> chat, all of us, uh, but it started it started growing from there. Uh, but yeah, for a while it was just 13 of us in, in a Skype group chat, <laughs> and uh, when, when someone wasn't interested in a client, they would pass it on to someone else in the group chat. Mm. And that went, that went on for a, for a long while, until the marketplace came about. Yeah, and then um, what drew you in? I reached out to a guy. And I just saw an opportunity, you know, like um, I knew that servers were very unreliable. That's that's the thing. Mm. You could get a nice server, nice commission, but um, it's not a it was never um, it was never stable. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a job. Yeah, um, and so marketplace is a good system, right? Because you have the the setup of the like the same with the the mod right like it, it accumulates over time but instead it's in the game like it's getting all of those eyes it's really good yeah yeah exactly and and the, the way i got into it was uh, i knew a, a guy from the group chat um and funnily enough i worked with him again um but he was at blockworks at, a, at the time i don't know if you if you if you're familiar with them probably but, no, but back then they were like the minecraft team they were the Minecraft team at, at the time, um, and he he got me the opportunity to you know um, basically like really do a test deal. for them. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm realizing oh, it, it, as I'm talking to you, I'm like, oh shit, I'm like this rookie ass guy. Like, hey, I got a YouTube channel, you know, and I swear a bunch, and I smoke weed, and you're like this really well put together guy. Like, oh shit. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, you're making me laugh. Uh, the, the guy, um, his name is Arcaniacs. He's done a lot of um, plugins for, for um, builders, uh, making it easier to, to make complex structures for them. I don't know if you're familiar with them, nope. but yeah, he's a, he's a big, big name in the, in the building community. I wish um, I knew these people. And here, uh, hmm? I wish I knew these people. But I'm looking him up on Twitter as I go. So, sorry, carry on again. Oh, yeah. Um, so he recommended me to Blockworks. I did a test for them. And uh, after that, uh, I, I did one project for them. But then uh, I left I left to go to Game on One, which is um, still, a, still a, a pretty big um, a marketplace team to this day. You might be familiar with them. No, Game no. I'll look them up. Nope. That's all right. We got this. We got this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got this. I was there for for a few months, uh, and I recommended a friend of mine, uh, Zella Creations or Alex, uh, to them as an animator and lighting artist. And in turn, he recommended me to Spark, where he was working at the time. And that's how I got into Spark, and then, then, then I just left Game on One for good to to commit to Spark. Oh, and is Spark also a marketplace team, or are they a separate thing? And then they also probably have a marketplace profile. Well, at the time, they were solely um, a Minecraft um, server slash um, marketplace team. Yeah, because right now they've. Uh, I saw that they did a YouTube, like an actual YouTube channel. Uh, sorry, give me a second. Like, 
obsidian armor, and it's kind of not that good. Where can we get good armor? Welcome back to another episode of Insane Craft. It's your favorite people, Rap, Moin, and Nate. And today we have something Hello. really fun planned for you. We're going to upgrade this bow, make it super powerful it with me. Nate's, sorry, with Rap's, uh, the, the inventory pets that he collected last That's all right. <laughs> Okay, if you could excuse me for just a few minutes, I need to make a phone call. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Okay. I'll just hang. I can hang. Okay. okay, thanks. You can't hear me though, right? Because you can't talk to myself. I mean, I talk to myself already when they were to have a conversation, I guess. Well, talk with other people, different. But you gotta be yourself, right? That's the point. That's how you, you know, I guess. But uh, you know. Talk to yourself though is different, but it's fun, I guess. Life's not always serious, gotta fuck yourself. Positivity, right? I did not realize this guy had such a fucking username. You know what's but you know what's gonna be weird? I'm gonna be able to put his name in the title. <laughs> and so many people are gonna be like, oh my god, that guy? And I'm gonna be like, like, like apparently. Croatia, I actually have a colleague from Croatia. He brought his uh, daughter to work. He was like really, really proud and like, Mickey, look, my daughter. <laughs> and I go up there, hey, hello, hello. Uh, um, <laughs> that's cute, right? Positive, positive dads. I like good dads. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? This business ass motherfucker is gonna take a phone call. I'm gonna eat food to cook. My mom made it. And I've been. Hungry as shit because I didn't get any food today for today. <sighs> Fucking man, Christmas time is tough. Doesn't matter what business you work in, apparently. I thought I escaped the restaurant business, but Christmas time is just as tough over here. I found it to go to cook. And that's how you do it a ramble. But you couldn't do it before. I was like, oh, me by myself? No, I didn't. The guy's back. Willem. Hey man. Yeah, it's not. Oh, he's muted. Oh, nice. Oh, great. I'm gonna mute also. <laughs> I like it. Oh man, he's gonna eat into the microphone. You know, my mom recently started a food truck. Oh, we work on. It used to be. From my old work, I have, I have a tattoo of this shelf, right? And he's gonna watch his back and be like, "What the fuck, dude? Why didn't you just edit it out till I came back?" I'm very good for you. So good. <laughs> So it goes to eat like this. You're supposed to slice little chunks. This is what my mom would tell me. And get a little plate and a little fork. I swear, she tells me. The moon is nuts. More dishes? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Mar. Guess on the other side. No. Can you say that? Other side? It's a song by the Chili Peppers, but I don't know if you can say it. I'll stop eating into my microphone, sorry. Put this back where it came from. Mm. Look at it from her perspective. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Food truck. It's definitely something I want to talk about on the podcast. Yeah, wild. It used to be from... I have a tattoo of this place, right? This is where I, when I'm 16. This is where I learned to cook, right? This restaurant. It says the name on, on my back. Like, it's hard to fucking... It doesn't matter. You... And it used to be that, that restaurant's food truck, right? They take it out to places. I don't know. It's like a fun gig advertisement you make some money it's funny it's different normally you have run a restaurant there all day every day you know you want to try something else you get a food truck right it's a pretty good one i'd say and um yeah now she has one because they 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 i don't know i guess the guy wanted to didn't need it anymore he did use it for a while and i guess he didn't need it anymore and then he decided to sell it to my mom, because then at least it's a good um, fucking place for a food truck, right? So, because it's, you know, it's a kind of a wild one. It's a horse trailer. We themed it around our dog, which is a clever move. Pretty clever. 
it's good right animals like people literally have, people literally have viral instagram accounts um of their pets there's and i run their instagram account and there's so many pet accounts to follow me on that account but it never makes that in with them it trips obviously but, um It's official also, she got the papers and stuff as well. It's just suddenly like, you know what? She's like 50, I think. I'm like eating it, it's like ASMR all over again. She's like 50 or whatever. I don't know how old she is. And she just decided, I'll start a business. I'll run a food truck. It's very, it's inspiring to be honest. But I like to think that I've inspired my mom also. Like I had this thought re recently. I think me and my mom really grew together, right? Like I I made a lot of growth recently, or like, I mean, over a year ago now, but that's fine. And uh, I think when I interacted with her, I, I don't know, I think through osmosis, she just, she, it's, you know, she, it's, it's interesting because when you have kids, I guess you, you grow with them, right? You don't just have your own, uh, you know, what's it called? Nurture versus nature. You don't have your own nurture. Your own parents raise raisingness. What's the word? What's what? what uh, raising ra raising your kids. Your parents teachings. Whatever the fuck doesn't matter. But you also now grow with this kid, and then the kid because because you know why? Because the kid learns like I learn, and then I go out in life and I have experiences, and I look at them a certain way because of shit that she taught me, and then I come back and she trusts that that I actually now see it that way and you know she trusts me in a way which is really nice and now she, i can i can have experiences right and tell her about it and then she can grow with me right it's a really nice thing have a good relationship with the parents you know what i mean a lot of edgy don't don't say don't be like eminem i love eminem everybody loves eminem when i put up eminem at work on the big old speakers everyone's like Fuck yeah, dude. Infinite. I'm infinite. It's a great song, dude. Infinite. How's it go? Uh, uh, pen from it. Infinite. There's like a remix. It recently came back on Spotify. You should check it out, dude. It's a really good song. I'll, take, I'll put it in the fucking description. Infinite. It's a wild. Like, can we just listen to it, bro? It's fucking probably gonna get copyright struck by YouTube, right? And then YouTube watches this video and then this poor guy gets in trouble. That's probably not gonna happen. It's not manifested. Um, yeah, this guy is blowing my fucking mind. It's good to have a moment with myself, to be honest. Because it's nice to just say that without sounding like I'm licking his balls. It sounds like I'm sucking up to him. I'm not. I'm blown away. Like, what the fuck did I invite on my podcast? Like, I'm not ready for this. But here we are, eating Botokook. Butter. Butter means butter. Butter cookie, butter cake, I guess you could call it butter cake. But all cake is butter cake. But this cake is specifically baked and it's different. Very really good, man. So buttery. I should put it down. I have a sugar addiction. You know who to blame is? Me, myself, my own responsibility. But it's because work puts out so much food. nice but um you know, I it's my own responsibility I indulged and I ate the chocolate it's my own fault but there you go welcome to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and comment and send this podcast to someone or like a group chat. Maybe it's like a group chat of friends that you know IRL, you know what I mean? So it's like real. So you can talk about it, you know what I mean? Like, have you seen it? <laughs> Did you actually end up watching it? You told me in the video to watch it. Yeah, I saw that, man. I'm telling you now. Send the podcast to a friend. This must be fun to watch, right? <laughs> uh, it's fun to do, which was always the core of MU Trips. And why wouldn't it still be the core of MU Trips? As long as it's fun to do in the moment. Basically just chilling, smoking weed. Smoking a lot though. Uh, also smoking cigarettes. 
not the best at all. Tomorrow I have to be at work, 8.30, 9.5. And I have to go to the gas station to get cigarettes. And that's honestly who I am right now. I'm not happy about that. The New Year's coming up. And Tyler Toad said on Twitter, don't wait for the new year. Tyler Toad, you know Tyler Toad. He's been on my podcast. You should know Tyler, Tyler Toad. Tyler Toad's the goat. More, Tyler Toad, more like Tyler Goat. And he said, don't give up now. Don't, don't say, wait, I'll wait for the new year to pick it back up again. You know what I'm going to do, Tyler? I want to... I want to, you know, Tyler, I love you, man, but I want to see you work this nine to five and then, you know, be like, no problem. I'll just go work out. I do work out though. I do work out, but I only do push ups. And uh, I don't really like, like, I used to like really take a moment and go like, blah, 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 but like, so I would say that, so I won't suffice to that identity, but I am just telling you what's going on. You know, it's a weird one. Because life's gonna always say this, but sometimes you just want to say shit without it being life. You know what I mean? And what do you do then? Then you have this meta conversation about it. So maybe it's fixed. Subconscious is always listening. You gotta go watch out for your subconscious. Man's his own biggest enemy. So high, waiting on this guy to call me to come back to chairs and the podcast. No, I'm kidding. I wanna I wanna talk about the YouTube, but we haven't really talked about YouTube. I don't know any of these people anyways. I mean, nice of him to, to name the names. That's a good one. That's a good sh shout out to him for doing all the names. And I'll make sure to add it in the right shizzle. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll do my thing, you know? But um, this is the wildest shit ever, man. I'm just gonna watch it again. Watching it with me still? Recording still running? Yeah, it is. Should I amuse? Probably right. Am I muted still? The city? Why is it say muted? It freaks me out. Gonna get copyrighted right, right by YouTube. We blocked this video in your region. I love this guy. That's uh, an animation, bro. I know that guy. I know that guy, but I didn't never like that guy. But he's there, though. And that's a big guy, also. <laughs> I'm gonna sing it now. <laughs> I like the drums. It's good, man. Whoever the name was who did that, good shout, man. Who's that? I like the guy. I mean, the uh, Sparks guy. Ah, this couldn't not be cool, right? This couldn't not be cool. It's perfectly crafted to be cool. Look how cool it is. It's cool, look at it. It's the little thingy. I've seen this guy before. A trillion views! That is wild. That is wild. I think Willem thought I was bashing him when I mentioned the... Uh, when I compared the views on, of the YouTube video. I can't find it now. Because I lost it. Which is usually what happens. Oh, there you go. When I was comparing the down to the respect, but uh, wasn't trying to bash because this is, I mean, it's about the fucking trillion trillion views, right? It's about the fucking celebration, it's great. Look at this, what is that? What is this? What do you mean? Oh, Don't slip away from me, little guy. Hey man, sorry about that. Oh, hey, Just a bunch of stuff. Oh, don't worry, man. Turn off camera. There you go. Does it work? I'll come back. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Cool. Man, if you have shit to do, I'm sorry this is taking too, way too long. If you have shit to do, let me know and I'll and you can go. You, I'll leave, I'll let you go. It's okay. I don't, I don't know how long you need me to be here. <laughs> but yeah, we can. Oh, um, we can chat. I I still really want to hear about um the YouTube how they approach you that whole story. Right, right, right. Me. Yeah, so, yeah. So impressive. Yeah, I was getting to. Uh, so we did the the video oh, yeah. for for Minecraft Championship uh, earlier this year. Um. 
I don't know, you might have seen it. It's it's the animated one with the zombie and the chicken. I did recognize that. That's a great mascot. That's a, It's been in a bunch of shit, actually. I've seen the mascot around. What does that mean? Oh, it's, just, it's just their mascot for MCC. Oh, I didn't know it was. It, it was. It had the name attached to it. Send you the link. Of course, I've seen that. I've seen the little chicken. I saw it in the video just now. It, it flew away at the end. Oh yes, yes. We were referencing them uh, at the end of the video with that. Oh. Uh, well, that's um, the funnest part about all this, right? The collaboration. That must be the most. Yeah, yeah. No, I was really, I was really happy and proud to be able to do that. You know, to reference all of these creators and and uh, moments in Minecraft history that that um, you know mean a lot to me personally, but also to everybody. In the community, that was, that was really fun. Uh, but yeah, they they uh, got us in touch with YouTube. They were already working on the concert side of things. They made the two concerts um, in game, one for um, Maneskin and one for uh, BTS. Oh, yeah. And they they are the ones who recommend us to YouTube to to do the animated video for for the celebration. And what, what was it about? What, was it your backlog? Did you have to show them like a big profile? Of shit? I guess you have a public channel. You can just show it off straight up. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. What, what would you like me to show? No, no, no I got it already. Right. No, what was it? What, uh, what was it that got you? You know, what made you good enough for YouTube? What, what, you know what I'm trying to ask? Oh, that. Like, uh, six. Um... Well, I I think we we have a portfolio that that you know was was made before we we started working on this. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. Could you ever have a mate? Are you still here? By the way, I'm now I'm freaking out that you're not here. Did I move my my mic? I bet I moved my mic. Unplug it. Plug it back in. Disconnect here. Yeti. Got this now. Settings. Why is the settings up top? Where's the video? Yeti. What's this now? What's this clownery? What? All right. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Unmute. Yes. Does that work? Am I back? Hmm. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No. Now you can though, now you can though, now you can. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, uh, I, I found a Spark animation with um, the Spark guys um, in late 2019. Then our first video, our first animated production came out in the, in the summer of 2020, which was this, it was, it was um, Zombies, it was a promo video for one, one of our marketplace maps. And that got a lot of traction. It's such a huge scene. It's wild, man. Hmm? It's fun hey. how this is such a huge scene. Like Minecraft yeah, yeah, for sure. Modeling, for sure. Or modeling. Or animation, even. All for animation. It's all like... Hmm. For animation, we're, we're pretty new, but uh, we managed to establish ourselves um, in the community. Just by you know doing the work and then publishing it yeah i get you man yeah that's how it goes i like to think the same for my youtube channel i like to think that i'm gonna do it eventually nice what's all you gotta do right just keep uh, working away thank you um how does it feel to have uh does it does it ever feel unreal to be on the YouTube channel, on YouTube's own fucking channel, because it's a wild one, right? Did you celebrate that? Oh yeah, for sure. We were over the moon when it came out. That they were just uh, smiling the entire day. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, keep it quiet. That was really exciting. Hmm? Did you did you keep it quiet? We had to, yeah. We had to keep it very quiet oh. um, during the production. Uh, wouldn't want that to get out, you know. I gotta be careful. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. I guess, I guess, yeah. 
but yeah, when it came out, the reception was amazing. I, I could have only hoped for for how well received it was in the community. Uh, very, very positive uh, feedback all around. Everybody was happy to see their favorite YouTuber, to see their favorite moments and references from Minecraft history. And I'm happy that we got to include so many of them. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, I even recognize a bunch of them. I watched it just now. Yeah, yeah, there's like 30 plus creators and then 30 plus um, um, other things as well. So over 60 references in total in the video that you could who, who find. Did the music? Uh, we didn't work on the music or the final mix. We we did do the sound effects. Um, it's it's a stu it's a music studio called uh, Heavy Duty. They did the the music, oh, okay, but uh, this so. is a this is of course a parody. It's it's a um, yeah, it was good. They though. licensed the song of the city from uh, from the you know um, people who hold the rights to that song, and then the, they changed the lyrics and re-recorded it. Incredible thing ever. Who is this by? <laughs> I don't even know. We we'll build, we we'll build this, we build the city. Who is it by? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. It's kind of. No, I'm just uh, the song. We build the city. But who is it? Starship? Is that the? Is that oh, the? Oh, yeah, yeah, Starship. Starship. Yeah, yeah, the band originally made the song. What? The, what type of music do you listen to then? Oh, uh, me personally. Yes, you personally. <laughs> oh no, I, I didn't pick the song. That you should pick the song, but uh, no, it's no, a good, I understand. Really good... I understand. I understand. I'm asking uh, you what type of music you listen to. Oh well, I, yeah, I, I listen mostly to rock, uh, like '60s, '70s, '80s. Interesting. Do you know Tenacious D? That's the only rock I listen to. I didn't nudge my microphone. Can't. Uh... All right. One last time. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I nudged it. I think it's just broken. So my phone, USB port's also broken. So if anyone wants to subscribe to my Patreon, like a uh, how of maybe like a thousand people. <laughs> it's a joke, obviously. Oh my god. This poor, poor dude. Poor guy. He's fine. He's probably fine. He's probably fine. Hey, dude. Yes, it is. Yeah, I can hear All right. you. Um, do you, I'm gonna ask you one more question. I'm, I'm thinking we should end it because this is horrendous. This uh, the connection issues, and we've already have a have a bunch of fun conversation captured, and I'll edit it in a fun way. So we could theoretically end and have a good good podcast if you agree with me. Because I don't know why this keeps happening. Keeps happening at this point. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, not sure. Thank you so much, Philim. Can you say your name, own name for the outro? <laughs> yes, that guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is it's it's a wild thing. I, I've I don't know. I'm amazed. I when I was a one last story before I ended. When I was a and I hope it's not it doesn't it's not gonna disconnect. When I was a kid, when I was 18, when I just turned 18, my mom took me to the Google offices in Amsterdam, right? Because she just wrote a regular old letter. And then, are you hearing me? By the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Just making sure. Yeah. And um. <laughs> My mom sent them like a letter right to the office and they were like, oh, no, we never get letters. Everyone's trying to email us and whatever. So they just let me, you know, go there and whatever. It was really cool, like really impressive. So I'm really, I don't know, I have like some really weird emotional connection to Google for some reason. You know, I have a sh they gave me a shirt and I still wear it to work. And I'm like, yeah, I got this at Google. You know what I mean? It's like, and nice. YouTube is obviously, obviously a part of that. Yeah. So to have, to have someone, you know, to just talk to who's had that experience. That's a wild thing. Anyways, what a fucking podcast. Um, I hope your I hope your followers, I hope the people that are interested in you for you, they don't look at the shit. You know what I mean? The all the swearing and the you know the smoking and stuff. But uh, for me, I hope my viewers enjoy it. Yeah. And uh, you know, leave a like and check out the socials, obviously, for my guy. Uh, you also have a message Mysterian. Oh yeah, Mysterian X on Twitter, right? Yes, yes, Mysterian X. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank this you for having me. And well, well, I mean, my pleasure, obviously. Likewise. Likewise. All right. Thanks, Thanks for